on the side. This is what we're this is what we're going for. Uh, got a couple corn hoses here. Uh, we probably have to take this. Yeah, I've got to undo this one. Uh, I've got to undo this bracket. There's a bracket that bolts here. It bolts in the back and it bolts over here somewhere. I don't know exactly where. I just know I'm pretty sure it does. We'll figure it out. There's one way down in there. At least one, maybe, maybe more than one. I don't know. But we're probably going to try to undo this whole thing and move it out of the way. Let me undo that hose first because I know that's got to come out. It's going to be in my way. All right, kind of plug that up so I don't leak all my fluid out. Guess I'm making a mess. But you gotta kind of expect that you're gonna have a little bit of mess, cold, break fluid. This whole bracket has to come off. Uh, let me see if I can just, there should be one on top here too. Let me get this electrical connector. I believe this slides forward first, I think. I think. And then pivots out. I think, I think that's what it does, yeah. Just, no, just, just pull on it. It unlocks it. Okay, set that out of my way here. Uh, get as much as I can. So there's one here you gotta get to. Uh, and uh, then the bunch on the front, I'm just gonna, they're all 10 millimeter, I think. 10 or eight, I'm not sure. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, crack them all loose to make sure that I can get them undone. <laughs> Alright, okay, all my lines are loose. Let me go after that bracket, that bolt on it. I got a 10 millimeter right in my hand, I might as well do it right now. Get that bracket, that bolt loose here. Now this whole bracket has to come undone. We just got a bolt right in the front here. Got a couple brackets that are attached to the bracket, the main bracket that holds this whole pump. Some tens down in here. Uh, we're gonna try to undo all of them if I can and get them all out and see if we can. I think there's one buried back in here somewhere too, if I remember correctly. Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out soon enough. So. You need to do some uh, unbolting here. You can just come along for the ride and watch. So way over here, right down in there, can't really see it buried there's another there's another nut so you got one on that side you got to get to that as well so let's see if that's that's everything now this i just want to get this out of my way because i have a feeling i have to turn this thing this way to get it out that's my guess it's my gut feeling on this and i've got you got a there's a clip on this top brake line you got to get that out so there's a bracket with a couple lines and a 10 millimeter nut that faces you got to get to it from the side here uh, I'm going to reach in there. I'm going to attempt to undo that because I think if I get that nut off of that bracket, I can leave all these lines where they are, except for this one here, which I'm going to unclip because it looks 
fun play that's going to get in my way. Just try to have some patience, watch your brake lines. I was hooked on my brake line there. Oh, I get my electrical connector up out of my way. Yeah, you can't see it. I can't see it either. So, not much I can do to fix that. Put this up around the back of that. These. Just watch your brake lines. So they went right back in. So I gotta kind of carefully uh, bend in any of them. Move this. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna get a bungee cord. To see if I can just. I'm tempted just to take this out. Uh, Electrical connector two. This was out of here. Why don't I just roll it up? I think I'm just gonna roll it up and bungee cord it up here. Get it out of my way. Give me a little more room. That's all I really care about. Got the front clear. One brake line, these brake lines. Put it this way, I think. Watch your brake lines. I'm going to say this one more, like 85 more times. You do not want to mess your brake lines up, so just be careful with them. It will come out. How hard is it going to get back in there? I don't know. Probably just as hard as getting it out. But one thing at a time here. Lovely if this thing would they made this so you can unbolt it from the bracket and not take this whole huge bracket out of here. It would make it much easier. Not what I would call fun, for sure, but actually not too bad. You get a rag in here and see if I can catch some of this as it brake fluid as it kind of drains in here. Get another rag, probably a couple of them. Be smart if I just found a sh like a shallow pan. I see if I have a small container or something I could put in there. Right, I've got my custom container here. Just sit that in there. Don't let it, let it uh, catch catch the fluid for now. I'm gonna have to spray this down and clean it really well. Pour put everything back in there anyway. Take you off here and show you. There's a lot of it you couldn't see. So first of all, back in here. Get that light. Way down in there, you can just see it. That's that one stud that I was talking about on this corner of the bracket that has to be undone. And you can see what we got going on here. There it's out. We'll get the new one bolted to the bracket, start fishing it back in there, and getting it done. Not too bad. Probably six, eight hours total, my guess for this job. But, not too bad, so far. I don't want to get ahead of myself. All right, we'll come back. Start working on getting it back together here.